Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk, episode 15. Um, we got a very special episode for you today. Um, we're gonna talk about to- we're gonna talk about a topic none of us know about <laughs> except from A B. Um already yeah. you know throwing yeah. under the bus already, bro. But yeah, I think we might as well get straight to it. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, hey! oh. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's the third, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It ain't a Valentine's if it ain't a Valentine's Day, bro. Oh, it's okay. It's your boy Kyojin. Jokes, your co-host AB. I took my I took my line, fam. What was the line? It's your boy AB, and you say I'm your co-host Kyojin. You nonce. I just I just go with the flow, fam. Yeah, it's not, not about the nonce part, about the introduction <laughs> part. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we got one of our regulars back, though, after a co-host only episode last week. Agony, yeah, man. I'm back in the building. Jeez, I'm happy geez, to be back. Geez. You know, I was kind of, I was, I was missing myself in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you heavily missed it last episode because I think we need our regulars because every week that. I'm, it's just me and AB. I'm telling embarrassing stories about myself. So I need, I, need, I need someone to take that away from me. But as you guys might have guessed, our topic today is the Valentine's special episode. So we've got some um, questions from you. Go on. This is the, you know, this is the worst episode for me to be on. Like, <laughs> I've got nothing to say. I, Why are you yeah. gassing for, bro? It's always the we'll quiet see. ones, you know. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, before we go into it, you know how we normally we do while out of the week here? Yeah? This time we got something different. I don't know what to call it. Maybe it's like hero of the hour or something. I don't know. Like the opposite of the one I do the week, innit? Yeah. We call them, um, I don't know, upside down. I don't know what to say. Like heroes of the hour, whatever. Yeah. 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 Man, um, the mandem for my birthday got me a new webcam. So I don't know if you can see, but like my face is much, much clearer now. <laughs> and there's a new angle. <laughs> so shout out uh, Alaska, Prague, Minnow. Hussein and Biolo, shout out you lot. There's no shout out them man, them man. Uh, I've got a welcome for my birthday as well, you know. Me, me and AB waiting on ours now. Nah, I've got a welcome <laughs> as well, dude. Like, you want to be in 1080p right now, Rupert. Yeah, shout out to my cousin. I'm a cousin's husband, fam. Jeez, jeez. Yeah. I guess the man them all leveled up, you know. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but High I really production, appreciate baby. it. No one don't <laughs> chat to me unless it's a 1080p, blood. <laughs> It, Ad is already working with that Mac. You already got the one up on us already from the beginning. <laughs> Bro, you, Mac webcam quality is rubbish. It's so bad. Let's go straight into the topic. Yeah, then. <laughs> on, on to today's episode. So you guys, we asked you guys to send us in some dilemmas, some questions um, of the romantic kind. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here because sound I sound like no a fucking creep, fam. I said <laughs> in the romantic kind. You're a creep, man. Listen, that's what literally what the question says. I'm, joking, I'm, joking. Go on, go I'm not go gonna go paraphrase it. Yeah, cool. Let me let me bring you guys in. Yeah, where has it gone? <clears throat> okay, there it is. So also, one of you went in Soham. Like we have to thank you. I don't know if we can put that there. Plug the name or something. Um, the first question made me laugh. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so. Uh, what do you think about getting ghosted on a date or stood up? <laughs> Wait, have you, man, have you man ever relate. been stood up? No. Not, have I've I waited, even though. ever been on a date, bro? No, 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 no. You're gassing because you looked up here and you shook your head. So that means you have been on a date, but you just haven't been stood up. No, it doesn't apply to me because I've never no. been on a date. That's your lie, man. You're lying. So you've never <laughs> been on a date, bro? I never. That's, that's a lie. You're a good looking guy, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not going to disagree, but bro. I've never been on a date. <laughs> Nah, um, have you, AB? Nah, nah. I've waited. I've, I've waited like a long time. I, uh, I, I, yeah, I've waited. I've, I've waited for time as well. Like, how long? How long? What's the longest you waited? Bro, I don't even know, fam. But I waited. Like this person was consistently late in it, <laughs> so <laughs> should have started finding them. <laughs> You know, I should have. I should have. I, I ain't gonna say what I should have done. <laughs> I've I've waited. I think the longest I waited is between like an hour and an hour and a half. I think that's roughly the same for me. Though. Yeah, but yeah. only because I was with that person, so I, it's worth the wait. If it was, if like, that's in like 
um, in a relationship with that person. Like if it was a getting oh, so to your uncle. Day. What the fuck? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, if that's on a first date, that's no yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not acceptable. But because Wait, was, what did he say? We said if, if the person's late on the first date, it's un, it's unacceptable. Yeah. Like an hour and a half, yeah. You've been left an hour and a half on the first day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, because that, that grimace looked a bit like a bit suspect, you know. Bro, I'm AB, you know, if I but I know you're talking to you, boy. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. I swear I'm joking. So none of us have been stood up. What about being what about being ghosted? Like wait, quick, yeah. Quick no, no, quick, yeah. Because obviously it's a Valentine's special, yeah. So let me just ask this quickly. Yeah. What like have you man have you man ever celebrated Valentine's Day? Yeah. No. You wait. What? Occasion you have? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask what you've done? It's one of those ones where, remember last time I said, I want to keep it be- like special between me and the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I explain you... it, if I explain it to like the listeners, they're not going to get half the gifts because they're like personal gifts. Do you, you know what I mean? You just say you got gifts in it. Just say what the motive was. I will just say you got gifts. You know but there was, no mo- there was no motive. We just started going out for like, it was like in those first two weeks of our relationship. Okay. How long did the relationship last? I can't remember, but it wasn't that long. <laughs> man, did it, man, did it make a probation, you know? But why you? Man, longest relationship? No, no, no. Like, have you ever done anything for Valentine's Day? I can't remember, bro. Can I come but clean I about like something, bro? Huh? Can I come clean about something? Yeah, obviously, you, you know about this, but, like, I don't think the person knows about this. Okay. Like, so, I, in, in a previous episode, you might have heard me say... Now, one time when I went on a date, yeah, AB bust me thirty pound, and we, that's how I pay for the date and stuff, yeah. So obviously we know that, yeah. <laughs> also, with that same person, yeah, I I done a madness. I can't like I went ham. Oh with the gifts, yeah. wait, wait, <laughs> I went ham. <laughs> I went ham with the gifts, yeah. But then like literally the night before, yeah, I was like to AB like, I got everything like sentimental and emotional and stuff like that, and I know she will like it, yeah. But now I'm starting to panic. Like I haven't got like a gift, gift. Do you know what I mean like jewelry or anything like that? AP mm. broke up with his girl recently. Wait, can I say that? <laughs> huh? Can I say that? Listen, it was before 18, so it doesn't count. Okay, so it's before 18. <laughs> so AP broke up with his girl recently, yeah. He's like, bro, I got a Swarovski bracelet for you. Like, I, he, I feel he, like I've heard this story. <laughs> he's like, well, I came clean, fam. I came with a goodie, so I've charged me, bro. He's like, it's got your Wait, so the person don't it. know this? I might have, I might have ended up telling her to be honest. I think I did, but if she doesn't, you do now. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> I think I told her like way after we broke up. But yeah, yeah. Wow, come on, man. I came last time. Yeah. I still but remember, my, yeah, cause yeah, cause the gifts were at my aunt's side, didn't it? Mm. And then I remember hitting up my cousin like, "Yo, bro, I make you send a video of those gifts." And then uh, he came. He, he he gave it to me. He sent sent it to me, and I forwarded it to you. And you're like, yeah, but I want that one. Yeah, I remember when he came into school. Your cousin came to school. Yeah, he's like, it was like some dodgy deal in it because it was on Valentine's Day. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> My cousin said to meet you here now <laughs> at three p.m. <laughs> I got something for you, like in the back alley, <laughs> behind behind like the boys' gym or something. <laughs> Whoa, he did not tell my cousin behind the Nah, not like, not, like, not like that, bro. Not like that. Jake, not like that. Jake, 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 Jake. So then he, what's called? He gave it to me, yeah? And then, like, it's Roski box here, but the lid was missing. Yeah, the lid was missing, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, what did I do? And then when I gave it, I think I just explained, like, um, it fell off the back of a truck, like, don't ask any questions. Or I just get, or I just took it out of the box and gave it. I can't remember. I think I must have taken it out of the box and given it. But yeah. So even with even with a special guest, you still expose yourself. <laughs> as you, as you said, everything before eighteen don't count. So you were nineteen then. So we. <laughs> no, I'm younger than you though. Shut up, man! No, you're not. Before, <laughs> for like two months, fam. <laughs> no, wait. I would have been nineteen as well because Valentine's Day is after my birthday. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, yeah. but the relationship was yeah, before eighteen, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Do you get me? The gifts, that's, I don't mind, I don't mind, I don't mind that. Uh, did she, what, what, how, how did she react? Did she give you some? <laughs> or... <laughs> huh? What kind of, what kind of question is that to ask, man? Uh, cool. I'll take that as a note. Have some higher. Take it as a note. 
don't, don't wink, bro. Don't wink. <laughs> that's not that's not what's happening here. Okay, don't wink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, bro. I'm just joking. It's all for comedian purposes. Let's back to the question. Yeah. So obviously none of us have been stood up. We've me and AB have waited for a long time. But what about the getting ghosted part? Have you ever been ghosted? No. No. Damn. Have you ever man have you man ever been friend zoned? Um oh, man, the man the stars. <laughs> oh shit. What the hell did you even say? All I heard was, I said, yeah. Man, I started going quiet, fam. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm, trying, I'm to trying to think, yeah. yeah. Have I... Okay, wait, have you, man, ever friends on someone else? Yeah. Uh... yeah I, know, I know you have, you demon. Why is that? Why does that mean? Bro, me Kirsten, I heard about you in the streets, you know. We're in lockdown. I haven't been out in like six, seven months, bro. Yeah, I'm going to talk. I'm, this, is pre, this is pre-lockdown. Uh, uh, you, got years, you got years in the game, man. No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what were you asked? I don't think so. I, I, well, I haven't been friend zoned, but I don't know. I, I may have friend zoned. I think so. I, I, I can't, honestly, I people. can't remember. I can't remember really. I think you have. I think, and I, think, I, 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 think I can remember an example as well. <laughs> so, what yeah. you? Go and, no, 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 no. What? Don't try to slide it off, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Have you ever been friends with it? Not by anyone that I care about, if that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> is that like on reflection? Like now you don't care about them? Or you no, no, like them? like at the time, it was like, oh, how do I explain this without like sounding like a demon? Isn't it? You, bro, there's no, there's no way around it. You're a demon. <laughs> Sometimes people are interested in being friends, but you're like, I don't want anything to do with you. Do you know what I mean? That's 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 quite rude, you know. No, but I don't know how to explain it, man. It sounds very rude, yeah, but I said I'm not rude. It's just it is yeah. You can't say I'm not rude and then <laughs> you idiot. I don't know what to tell you, fam. Like that's I'm just being honest, isn't it? Like sometimes Sometimes, like, don't you, don't you think sometimes, yeah, when someone's talking to you, yeah, like, you don't see any reason for it? Do you know what I mean? I, I only like hanging As out with people naturally. Being friends for the sake of being friends, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, kind I get of, what you yeah. mean. I get that. See, if I'm a demon, then. <laughs> 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 but I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I think, like. You Honestly, could, you the could, best policy, isn't it? You could, you, like, for example, like, well, if you think about all your friends, yeah, you you naturally do something with them. For example, like you play football with them, or like yeah. you go to school with them, or you work with them, or you go uni with them. Like, there are some people that want to be friends for the sake of being friends, and I'm like, why? What for? What reason? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not to sound harsh, but yeah. I hear that. I hear that. Do you think they're watching this right now? There might be a couple. <laughs> Oh Couple, oh, there's more than one. No, oh, come on, yeah, bro. Guys, you might not sound making me sound like some <laughs> demon fan. You're making yourself sound like a demon. <laughs> I like you're the one who's doing all the talking. I had enough. I plead the fifth for the rest of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go on. Let's get. Let's go on. You know, you know, you know what the dream would be. I've been thinking about this for a while. Yeah, the dream is to to get to get to get coughed in it, so I can um. Come onto the podcast and just say whatever I like, and then go home a happy man to like the love of my life. Do you know what I mean? I can, I just want to come on here and be like, women ain't shit, fuck women, and then go home and then give my wife the, everything she deserves. The, the what? <laughs> you be like, what? <laughs> what the fuck? I said everything they deserve. What the hell did you guys hear? But anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, there was a poll for that one as well, you know. I saw one of the posts today, but yeah, sorry, go on, go on. Now go on? No, 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 go on, go on, go on. What was the... There was a poll for that one. Uh, You said yes. How many people said yes? Two people. No, as in the percentage, man. You can't hot up the number. You say 20 at least. (laughs) Two people, fam. I want want those two people to let them know that out of everyone, it was just them two. (laughs) I've experienced (laughs) it. Oh, shit. Wait, for what? The friend zone one? Another getting stood up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
that's bro getting stood up you know that's that's pain that's tough that is pain I feel to so be honest though that. I'd rather get stood up than get friend zoned nah I'd rather get friend zoned but bro when you get stood up you're leaving what kind your of, crib bro what bro. kind of nonsense is that you're leaving your crib bro you're wasting time getting ready leaving your crib yeah. and they're not yeah, turning but up that- that's one day and you never have to think about it again, yeah? Bro, if you yeah, get in a friend zone, you can, climb, you can climb out of the friend zone, you know? If you get stood up, that's uh, it for man. us. That's it. Have some, res- have some like, self-respect. What do you mean climb out of the friend zone? No way. I've never been friend zone, so I, I, I don't need to climb out of nine. You know what I'm saying? But if, yeah, you get, nah. if, if, if someone stood me up, bro, I'm cutting them off. Nah, yeah, that's fine. Cut, that's what I'm saying. So it's over after the day, isn't it? No, friend zone, you've got to deal with that person for, for time. You're telling, you, you're don't telling to, me you don't need to deal with nothing. You'd rather get left there standing in the cold for two hours, yeah, than just have a friend. No, but that's it's not basically, just have a friend. That's, that's not basically just, what you're telling me. It's not you'd just r- have a you'd friend. You'd rather have though. no friends. You'd rather get like just be standing there than have a friend. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just a friend. That's what you're not you're not considering. Oh yeah, you guys can't have girl- friends that girls remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be stood up, hundred percent. Really. Yeah, that's, yeah, cra- yeah. that's crazy to me. I can't lie. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Because it's not the fact that you're getting... It's the whole effort behind it. Like, leaving your yard, getting ready, leaving your yard. Minor, bro. It's minor. It's one day. Do you know what I mean? Nah, bro. Sp- speaking of, you know, last week, AB said he can't spend time alone. Yeah, there was a poll for that as well. Um, do you know what percentage for they can spend... Th- well, first of all, ads, can you spend alone t- like time by yourself? Yeah. No, I it's not. It. No, no, no. I Let me get it straight. Let me get it straight. Yeah, it's not like I can't spend time alone. Man's alone right now in a room recording. No, you're not. You're with us. You waste man. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, rude. That's still, that's very rude. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Bro, who likes to be alone? I don't get. I don't. Gee, you know, I can't fathom that. You know, just being. I can't fathom being alone, bro. I prefer being alone, man. I, I can't comprehend that, bro. Because I, I feel like with you got to make an effort in it with when you're with other people. <laughs> Mm. I'm by myself I, I don't have to worry about anything I don't you know, know I mean? man I, just, I don't know if I'm Don't you feel like I'm going by myself If I'm Obviously like cinemas but Like motives Obviously I'm not going to go By myself Because there's no fun But Like everyday things Like shopping Like you, you know You said you go To get jeans You went to go call your boys right. I, I don't get that man <laughs> Bro, I, can't, I can't do it man Yeah no. Nah. Oh, I'd go man. by myself Definitely Yeah <laughs> Don't you feel like lockdown has made you feel more comfortable being by yourself? You me? Yeah. We're going to have to edit this bit out, yeah, but even a lockdown, bro, I ain't been by myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, I guess we do have a wild out of the week this week as well. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> late, they, late and 96% of the people said yes, they can. They can be by themselves? Yeah, but uh-huh. only one person voted no, by the way, and it was AB. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're the only one who could, and they also. What gave is a... that? I don't understand, bro. Is that weird, fam? Bro, what be not be not wants to be by itself? It's weird. They even gave us. Nah. They even gave us like answers of like what they would do on a day out by themselves as well. Gone. So someone said, and the worst thing is, yeah, I feel like you you are out of all of us, you are the most capable of doing this, yeah. They said going to museums in London uh, and striking up conversation with random strangers. Yeah, I'm, no way. I, oh, uh, so quick story, yeah. You see that uh-huh. time when I went, I think I saw it, I think I'm pretty sure I told the story before in the podcast, yeah, when I met um, gigs, yeah? yeah. Yeah. I was actually, I actually went there by myself and I met these two geezers there, fam. Like, I literally just started speaking to them. Mm. Like, I literally spent the whole like, evening together, yeah. But, like, literally, like, done everything together, ate together and all of that. As soon as I left you, I've never seen I've never seen them again. Did you not want to stay in contact? No, it's just like we just didn't think about oh yeah, like taking each other's instas or whatever, no. Like, mm. We were just so engrossed into the the the, the event <laughs> and like appreciating each other's companies, you know. Mm. But yeah. I can't but again, I can't I, I I could do that, I would do that, like talk to someone random with mm. someone else with me that I know. Do you know what I'm saying? But you were by yourself at our gigs. Yeah, but I met, like I made friends there, innit? Like temporary friends. <laughs> so I you're so right. scared. You're so scared of being alone. You have to make temporary friends. <laughs> I'm not scared to be alone. I just I just don't like it. Like I, I, like, I think I think that that's that the same thing, bro. Nah, it's not, man. Like I I I, I just don't like being alone. For I like I like company. I like people, fam. I think uh, this is that's not a I, bad thing, though. 
or like being around. Bro, you, you guys make bro. You make you guys make me this feel is, like I'm weird or something. No, 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 no. I I think I'm the same. I I like being around people more than I like being by myself. But there's a balance. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes I need to. I I do things by myself, or I can do certain things by myself that I feel like you can't do. Like go shopping. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Someone said uh, bouldering or climbing lesson followed by a hearty meal. Session, sorry, not lesson. When that's your wouldn't, boy, that, that's... wouldn't that be much more better with one of your friends? Wait, what he was that? Mix... He said he said he'd do that by himself. Yeah, perfect day alone. Didn't he go is with this, you? Is this my boy? The... Yeah. Oh, we go together. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we go climbing together. It's all coming. Literally. It's all coming. <laughs> oh, shit. He's the one who introduced me to climbing. <laughs> as just as just might have lost a friend, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to words after this, man. So now you know. Every, every time you go, now you know he'd rather be by himself. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, good. Do you guys, do you guys get food afterwards when you go? <clears throat> Sometimes, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's that. Maybe you don't get him a hearty meal. That's why he spe- yeah. prefers it alone. Or maybe it's just shit company. Say, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pe- people growing apart on Val- Val- Valentine's Day, bro. It's yeah, for real. Someone said, walk, uh, walk in nature or cycle in nature then sit in a flower garden or something. Bro, these That's are all other. things yeah, that could be much better with at least one other person. No, nah, I would do that alone. Yeah. Like, you I would, think that's, you would, you would that's very therapeutic, a, I think. You would sit in a garden by yourself, bro. Yeah. yeah. Bro, like say like your closest boy. Yeah? Imagine your boy is there and you guys are having like a nice heart to heart, fam. The thing is, when I'm when I go out with like people, like there has to be something that we're doing in it. I I can't like going on a walk and stuff. I can't do that with someone else. Do you know what I mean? There has oh, to be yeah. an objective. You can't have like idle motives. Yeah. I feel like I we've know. been on a walk before. On a walk? No, bro. Yeah. We we walked to like the gym, but it wasn't just like a, a random walk. <laughs> no, I don't remember the gym part. <laughs> When did we go on a walk? <laughs> I don't remember. This. I was I was gonna ask you to go on the walk the other day, you know. And really? now I know. Now I know. I, uh, next time I'm gonna ask. Okay, no, 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 no. Ain't it? Ain't it? Like that, bro. Yeah, yeah, we bro, need to expand our horizons, innit? You can go. You can go on socially distanced walks. That's why I'm not trying to go into his yard, fam. Apparently, in March we're able to do picnics. Yeah, I read that. Yeah, I saw that today. Jeez. We might have to do that, you know. Shisha in the park. Ramadan. Oh, I'm I'm in the park, fam. Um, my man's talking about shisha and I'm talking about Ramadan. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> tuba, tuba, tuba. Such, a, such a brown boy, fam. <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so a lot of people said mini self-care days, just chilling, walking around in parks, as well as, well as shopping and eating alone, taking myself out for a nice lunch. Bro, Eating alone sounds so breezy to me, bro. Yeah, that's one Why? thing I can't do is eat yeah. alone. I find it very awkward. Yeah. I find it more awkward to eat with other people. Nah, I'd prefer I, eating with other people. Are a you group. like this and I'm with people? That's because you're a transsexual. <laughs> your, mom's, your mom's a trans... <laughs> we can't put transphobia into the, into the thing, bro. <laughs> no, I'm not scared of them. Gosh, oh, shut up, man. That, that, that part's getting taken out of you, Ace, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? What do you, what do you think, bro? Are you an idiot? I said, I'm not scared of them. <laughs> Keep that now, in mind. I hope it's getting taken out, fam. Trust me. Anyone yeah, yeah, yeah. that likes doing things alone is weird. Clearly, you're the only one who voted no, bro. I don't care. I'm not weird. You're the weird one. I'm not. You remind me of that, you know, that, that meme where the guy's like, why are you booing me? I'm right. Or something like that. I'm, all, um, I'm always right. The next one. So this one was quite a big one. Opinions on who should be the one to organize the big day. And it's also linked to another one where it says, um, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the follow-up question afterwards. Is this specific to Valentine's or just any day? Yeah, Valentine's. Um, are you, oh, are you actually asking us? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like for Valentine's, yeah, it, like it could be either or. Yeah, it could be could be both. Yeah, that's be. what I'm saying. You both you both try to surprise each other, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like they're both in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's not like someone's birthday where the other person has to put in effort. Like, like, Did you the effort. feel like when you were younger, you would settle for? I felt like personally, I would settle for the other person not doing that much. Do you know what I mean? Maybe because I was maybe because I was a simp, but you know. Wait, when I was younger, I was too busy thinking about wanking and watching FIFA. Man. <laughs> on YouTube. Like, I yeah, I don't have about, experience in this field still. You know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking about Valentine's Day. 
No, but I'm saying when you did, yeah, like when you like participated in the day yeah, and stuff like That's that. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I don't think I've I i do not think I ever have, bro. Like I don't know. I, I can't I can't remember it. Maybe but yeah, of course, like Growing up, like it was always guys have to do something in it. Yeah, like that. That's that's what it is. Like the one I told you about, guys. I got no gifts that day, and now I think about it. Yeah. So he went for all of that effort, and he got nothing. <laughs> yeah, not even a bit. <laughs> Shut up, man. Oh, that that that. Oh, bro, that's tough, man. That's pain. Yeah, so that's why I think when when we were younger, you you'd set up for that. Innit? But the next question was, how would you feel that you've planned the most, and your girl couldn't surprise you as well? It's, it's not that deep, in it? Like, if yeah. she made some sort of effort, if she made no effort, I can't laugh for violated. The but thing she, is, as, yeah, in, as in, she, has, she hasn't surprised you at all. That's like, she hasn't done nothing. Done nothing but, at all. Yeah. Yeah, I can't laugh. Like, you're giving stuff. gifts for the sake of receiving something in return. No. And it's not, it's not no, a genuine no, no, it's not gift, that. isn't it? It's the, it's the thought, in it? Because Valentine's Day <laughs> is not a day for where, where the men appreciate women. It's they for, appreciate it's, each it's, other. Yeah, it's for love, isn't it? Yeah. yeah but so, still, I, so am I not your lover, fam? Why are you not appreciating, man? I feel like you're talking to us know. directly. It's a bit creepy. No, KJ, why are you not appreciating? <laughs> uh, I was wondering who left those roses on my front door. <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah. Do you guys remember that time, yeah, where AB bought a rose for Mr. C- uh, Mr. Yeah, S- Mr. Slayer? Uh, Slayer. <laughs> I was trying to get good grades, man. Oh, there's, come on, man. And he's like, I'm, and the, this, the teacher was like, you'll keep me up all night. And he's like, damn right, <laughs> <laughs> oh my days yeah but i think now like now that i'm older and i have more like security about myself i would that i would take that as a red flag you know i'd think to myself like so you can't put effort in. do you know what i mean or you think this is a one-way street when it's not and they, they'll be like oh i am the gift now oh, fuck off man Sick not even man. not even like a box of chocolates or satin ruby like nothing no like... <laughs> i don't know At man least this bro this I... this Bare minimum, fam. What is that, Maltese or Lint? Nah, Lint, man, Lint. Oh, okay, nice, nice. I'm living, I'm living nice right now, bro. <laughs> man, some Maltese, I ain't no peasant. Oh, Maltese bangs, bro. Nah, Maltese do bangs, though, I can't lie. <clears throat> well, all the ads, you, you disagree? You yeah, I, well, I don't, di- I don't disagree fully, but I feel like you shouldn't be that disappointed if you, if you, like, if you went out of your way to get gifts and surprise somebody, that's on you, innit? Okay, don't what do about it. This, don't do okay. it expecting something in return. What about I, don't this feel, I don't feel like you're going out of your way, though, because the day for the day, you've clearly had a discussion like, OK, we're meeting up on this day and we're doing something. So clearly you're not you're not going out of your way. They just assume that they don't have that responsibility, if that makes sense. No, but if if you're if you if you're the one who organized it and is surprising the other person, then that's up to you. You, you, you surprise I mean? people with gifts, but like on the day, you know that something's gonna. They know that you guys are gonna spend that day together for a certain reason. As you're saying yeah. this, yeah, like, like, but well, I, I, when you go, when you have a Valentine's Day, yeah, come on the yeah. pod and I want <laughs> and we'll talk about it. Do you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, and obviously, hopefully, you do get some gifts, yeah. But I want, I want, I want you to put, I want you to think about in the perspective of you not getting gifts on that day, and you put in <laughs> like you put in the most effort, but you got nothing in return. Not I even, can't like, like you. You look at yourself thinking, "Am, am I a dickhead? Is, is this know, is man. this what I'm settling uh, for?" Then, if that's the case, yeah. Then, then if the if the girl organized it mm. and she got all the guys' gifts and the guy didn't get her nothing, would that be all right? No, I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying like you shouldn't that's be disappointed. Point. Like you giving gifts, it, it doesn't like no, nah, it's not nah, necessitate nah, nah. the other person giving. No, nah, that's back, not what we're saying. Mean? It's, but you're not you're not giving gifts out of the blue though. You're giving it for a certain reason on a certain day that she also knows about. It's you know not I mean? like it's, we, it's not like we're giving gifts, yeah, because we know that like in it is in the hope that we're gonna get gifts back. It's not that. Yeah. It's the fault of like I've put in this effort to get you this gift for this day, yeah, to make you feel special, but you didn't have the courtesy to feel this, to have the same perspective as man. Yeah. Always, always you know like like no, AB no, no. said before. It's not, it's, the gift could it, be a fucking card, bro. Like, do you yeah. know what I'm saying? A card. Or it's like, it's like a misunderstanding of what the day is. Like, that yeah. person is clearly taking that day as like, it's all about me and nothing about you. Yeah. You know I mean, I get what you're saying. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I feel like I don't, like, I just don't put that much thought in terms of that like, holding Valentine's as a special day. People, the, for the answers, for that question, 
I think it was eighty uh, percent people said yes they would feel the type of way if like they, the, the other half didn't do anything. Mm. Yeah. Our twenties are fucking simp. That's me. But, no, but I think you. But you've been a simp, bro. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but when you when you Says when you get married, yeah. on, like two things. Yeah, that's true. That's true. When you get married and stuff, yeah. yeah. When, when you get married and stuff, like if if you spoke to us about it, yeah, would like and you, I don't think you. First of all, I don't think you'd have the same mindset. You would expect more from your wife. But the, if you, if you didn't, my advice would be to start respecting yourself more. If that makes sense. No, but if I'm being honest, when I'm married and stuff, I just probably I probably wouldn't celebrate Valentine's Day. To be honest. Yeah, that's that's fair, like, enough. fair enough. Not for me. But mm-hmm. I feel like I would be a simp once I'm married. Oh. And there's, that's nothing to be ashamed about. Oh, yeah. my baby's all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this guy was walking around here yeah, with his white with his white shirt and the Adidas man bag, fam. Looking all <laughs> tiny, bro. Now look at him. Oh. <laughs> Yo, yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a simp here, yeah? but there's, there's a very clear distinction between like being a simp, which is not a bad thing, but then also like not respecting yourself and being like stepped on, if that makes sense. I don't know, man. I feel like... I... I feel like a lot of people just need to find themselves before they get into a relationship, bro. Yeah, I agree. Be secure I agree. Because a lot, of, yeah, because a lot of man is getting slapped and not lit, not not like phys- Well, some of them are getting slapped physically, but men- mentally, definitely though. Yeah, they're getting they're getting deaded off, bro. That's yeah. that. Oh uh, no, you know what? I'm not gonna open up on the pod. <laughs> I think I know we're gonna talk about. But yeah, that that was that was me. But it was before. 18, oh, right? you? Yeah, it was before. Would... Was... What What do you think I was talking about? I thought you were talking about your boy. Oh no, I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about that. Uh, what's your opinion on Valentine's Day? Is it a normal day or should it be extra special in a way? I think we know Ad's answer. Um, I feel like it's cute, isn't it? Like, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But if, like, if your girl has like has to feel special on Valentine's Day, but like you can't just have like a generic day, like where you just want to treat your girl or whatever, or vice versa. Then your big homie, your son, something's going wrong, fam. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Valentine's Day gives people an excuse to act shitty the rest of the year. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're saving, like, you're saving that affection just for one day. Mm. Or you could bump up the affection for one day. Uh, yeah, uh, my me? brother. I've only got so much. Yeah, energy. yeah. No, I mean, not not like, like that, fam. Not like that. <laughs> not like that. See, when, um, I talk, when, I, when I talk to the man these guys, it's always the quiet one, yeah? Trust me. <laughs> so, you guys really going to do me like this, yeah? And they're really going to do me like this. No, I'm joking. What about no, you? Thought, what, yeah. It's, it's nice, man. It's like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a day where, like, it's kind of easy to, like, think in it, like, to organize shit. It's like, oh, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Whereas, mm. like, other days, it might not be easy. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but... Like you got a treat, you got it's not it can't be just Valentine's Day. Do you want you, do you get me? Like it could like yeah, it should be other days, like any random day, do you know what I'm saying? Where you guys are both free or something, like yeah. You just want to thing, I, I don't hold it as a special day because I've never been with somebody like seriously. <clears throat> yeah, so you know, I, I can't really see it from the perspective of being in a relationship. So I think that's why I don't really it's, it doesn't mean anything to me. I think I don't. I don't really care. Like, if it means something to the girl, then I'll put an effort. If it doesn't, then yeah. I'll be I'll be happy to save money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't it doesn't bother me either way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. It says, uh, describe for you what the fine line is between protective and just toxic behavior over your girl. It's a bit of a broad subject. I don't know. I feel like there's too many like nuances. I knew he was gonna say that. Gang, gang. We <laughs> might as well do it. We might as well do a nuance meter. You know, like right. every time we have the word nuance, thing, and do one uh, for S as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like if you have to check like your partner's like social media and like their phone and that, yeah, I feel like that's 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 a bit crazy to me still. Yeah. And like yeah, I agree. Ask, you have to ask like your where you go in and who you are going with, and that. that's that's a bit mad. Don't you think it's weird, yeah? Because like you see, you see back in the day, like when people were, let's say, like the older generations were like dating and stuff, yeah. There was no paper trail in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, as in like they would date, and then when they meet the one, like they get together, and like everyone's happy in it. 
now there's a paper trail, but like it's kind of weird because it's it's I can see why people get annoyed about like I don't know you moving to people like six months ago, but at the same time, like why like you do you got what I'm trying to say? Like is I feel like nowadays people settle for toxic people, innit? So then and then they, they get surprised when there's toxic behavior in your relationships. Like mm. you get into these meaningless relationships and you like yeah, I don't know, man. It's like you, yeah. you bought it upon yourself, really. Yeah. Would you would you let your girl have your password for my phone? So, yeah, socials. Like, That's the thing, though. Once I get in a serious relationship, like everything else gone. Like I'm blocking anybody who is in my past life. Like once I'm That's in a well. serious, no, no, no. I'm talking about girls and stuff. <laughs> once I'm in a serious relationship, I've got nothing to hide. But, but my last girl, my last girl had uh, passwords on my phone. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. Although I'd question like why they don't trust me. Mm. I don't know. I thought like, uh, our, my thing wasn't like a trust thing, like do you know what I'm saying? Which is like like say say like if I'm driving, yeah, and like she needed my phone, like I don't know, like maybe to change a song. I don't know, like Okay, yeah, yeah, you know I don't what I'm mind. Saying? That, like, yeah. Well, she yeah, actually yeah, yeah. needed my phone to do so and like do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh no, what I meant was like if they question you and say, Oh give me your phone, do you know what I mean? I'll let you take it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. My last girl actually, actually used to be like her. Yeah. <laughs> I remember <laughs> she used to be like, so say like, say like, oh, like she'll grab my phone there, then I'll pretend like, oh, no, give it back, give it back. And he'd be like, what are you talking about? And then she'd be like, well, I don't, she's like, why are you bugging up? I want to go on your phone. I'm going on your phone. Because she knew my password and that, innit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That was funny still. What about you, Kajun? What was the question again? Kajun's got too many DMs, man. Of course he ain't giving no fucking password out, bro. No, but. That's his thing. His thing is on full capacity, you know. That's not, nah. That's not. That's not the case. That's not the case. But that's what I was trying to say. Is like, obviously, <clears throat> there's always going to be something that was going to upset someone. I feel like, do you know what I mean? No. No, because like, for example, let's say, I don't know. Let's say, for example, yeah, you. For argument's sake, this is I'm not in this scenario yet, but for argument's sake, you were in a relationship before, yeah. And you obviously had conversations with your your ex on like Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, all that stuff, yeah. And you those talk to your ex. We'll go into that in a in a bit at the end. I just posted a question for it. But uh you like the that that's what I'm saying, that papers trail would be still be there, but by that happening like two, three months ago, even like years ago, it doesn't affect your current do you know what I mean? But yeah, but like... you gotta be responsible, bro. Delete all of that. Before... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, you no, need to cover like, your so... own back. <laughs> some some things don't like don't get deleted. Do you know what I mean? Like some things will just stay there. That's on you. <laughs> I lie. Like, why? But the... The, why I don't get is if you're getting into a new relationship, why do you need all that stuff there anyway? Why you do you talk to your ex if you're getting into a new relationship? Uh... I'm, I'm, it's the question. The question is not about me, bro. No, but I'm man's off. No, but man's off you. No, but there might be like, for example, like I don't know. You were like, just uh, I don't know how to say this. So, do you see social? Or the, I guess this is basically what we've been talking about. But some of what we've been talking about. Do you see social media as a problem within relationships? No, I do. Well, right. I some people don't know how to be responsible with social media, man. So what? As in, like, what? What would you mean, like, uh, a problem? Do you know how? So people can interpret this in different ways, yeah. But the reason why I see it as a problem, yeah, is you know when when somebody like let's say one person in the the relationship is on social media and the other person isn't, yeah. There's too mm. much advice going out there on on social media where people use it to either manipulate or like. I, I think Av will know about this, yeah, because I've complained to him about this before, yeah. But you know when you're like the talking stage, and it's very very early, yeah, and the girl comes with things like. Have you eaten today? Oh yeah, okay. Clearly, yeah. clearly, learn it. It's a soundbite from Twitter. Listen, they have no personality. Listen, of their own. yeah, yeah. Listen, l- l- I l- hate quick, it. <laughs> yeah, listen, quick, yeah, l- l- quick PSA, yeah. All you people that get your fucking personalities from Twitter, fam, please don't talk, don't bother talking to no one, bro. Even as friends, don't bother talking to no one. You I'm fucking, keeping that in, you know. You useless pricks. You keep that bit in, but not obviously not before. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I, I 100% agree. Yeah. So jarring, bro. bro. It's, 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 it's like the first day, yeah. Why are you asking me if I've eaten? I don't. Why do you care? No, no, Shut the worst up. one, no, bro. The worst one for me, yeah, is how tall are you, fam? Because no yeah. one gave a fuck about heights before Twitter. Don't ask me how tall I am, bro. 
Not that I have a fucking <laughs> problem. No, I don't have a problem anyway, but don't ask I'd, me. I'd, I'd just just like, like, why are they so emotional <laughs> about this? I was just so jarring, man. Yeah, it's like it's so obvious like they they learn certain things from Twitter and like they have no personality of their own. And the other thing is, yeah, this has nothing to do with social media. Yeah, actually, I'll leave. I'll save it for a later question because it's on a later question. But yeah, if you learn if you learn your personality from Twitter or whatever it is, yeah, oh, don't chat to me. Do you know what I mean it's it's not even like cool things like you know there's people out there that learn their personality from like being funny on Twitter or like or YouTube or stuff like that. If you're learning relationship advice. From Twitter and it's and it's nonsense. Ah, oh, leave it out, man. Leave it yeah, out. Man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Think to yourself, is is that a serious question to ask? Have I eaten? Do I even know you? <laughs> huh? Have I eaten? I used to, I, used to, I used to like getting asked if I eaten, you know. But I had the right person. But obviously, yeah, 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 you get me. No, it wasn't just anyone asking, man. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But if someone if someone that I don't really like know like that asked man, have you eaten? It pain it's I'm... painful, bro. It hurts. Yeah. I feel like vomiting. Well, I, I I don't know how that feels, like, obviously, because you're just I talk, talking to a big guy. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do me like this, yeah. As I said, I have no experience in this in this field. Guys, who say like, now this there's a fine line in it. Like you don't want to get a girl who like you take her through Westfield and everyone say hello to her. Like, you can't can't have that in it. That's mad. Yeah. <laughs> but you know you know when guys say I want a girl who's antisocial. I feel like that's kind of. It sounds ominous to me, that, like it's easy to control them, yeah. yeah, yeah, and I think it's the same the opposite way as well. It's yeah, I agree. A, it's such a weird, like, trait to want in someone. What the hell? Mm. Well, I like, like a loner, fam. Yeah, that's weird, man. What's gonna happen when you can't talk to them either because they're boring? <laughs> I just ucked off that egg. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you swallowed the whole thing. <laughs> it's a limbo, fam. I'm not supposed to bake it in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, the next question is uh, I'm very interested to hear AB's answer on this one yeah what is classed as cheating for you um, anything that you think that you have to hide is <clears throat> is cheating to me but you could you could think that you don't have to hide being another thing oh that's <laughs> that's so dumb <laughs> <laughs> that is so dumb so you, do, do you guys want to hear what other people said for inspiration then God. But I agree with that, you know. Like, if you're, if you think you have to hide it, then you're obviously doing something wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I, I agree. I was just joking. Man, a quick, it. quick word of advice, yeah. <laughs> if you get questioned, <laughs> just say the truth. Yeah, just say the truth, bro. Just come clean. Yeah. Man, because man, if, man, if you man, don't man. hide it, it doesn't mean it's cheap. You know I'm saying, fam. Okay. If you try to say, if you try to come up with a lie, bro, you're gonna get clocked, fam. Yeah. Is it gone? What the hell? There it is. Okay. Oh, there's only somebody said uh, being flirty. Yeah, that's cheating. Yeah, if you wouldn't like be flirt like in the DMs, for example, if you wouldn't be flirting with someone and then like show it to your girl, then I think that is yeah. that is low key cheating still. What if it's like, nah, I, 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 yeah, I don't condone cheating. I, I, there was no like count for that. Someone said the first text. Like your first text to someone of the opposite gender is class of gene. I think that's a bit deep. So, so if you're in a relationship, you can't text anyone other than your girl. <laughs> There's no context to that. Then. Like, <laughs> well, maybe they mean like someone that you have no business talking to. Do you know what right. I mean? Like you have no business talking to them. Maybe like if your attention is to like, do you know what I'm saying? I think it all comes back to if you're hiding it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the first text, if you're happy to show your partner that first text, then there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. What if your partner is like an idiot? They don't realize that he, he's cheating on them. Then just cheat on them, fam. It's fucking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you, got might, you got nothing to worry about. Girl, <laughs> you got nothing to worry about. Have you seen, have you seen that, that meme where the, they were like, girls, cheat on your man. And if you feel bad for him, then you know you love him. So he's the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't lie. I, I think cheating is the lowest of the law. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit scummy. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. As he's doing damage I mean, I can right think. Of, I can think of worse things. <laughs> and she, and do you know what I mean? I don't think it's the lowest of the low. <laughs> I wouldn't go to that extreme. But I think it's just like when you like when you do it, yeah. You have to think of things like how much your partner's self confidence is going to be affected, because all they're going to think to themselves is like, why, why, why would that happen to me? Like, what, what wasn't I able to? 
mm. bring to the table. Do you know what I mean? 100%. So, yeah. so the, the moral of the story is, uh, ladies, stop buying your man Valentine's gifts, otherwise he's going to cheat on you because you bring nothing to the table. I lie. PS5 is minimum. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> there's, 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 no, there's no condoning it. No condoning it. Let's see what else we got. Deeps asked. You can guess what you asked, yeah. Ah, uh, so T's. Yeah. <laughs> Worst thing is, I didn't even see. I didn't even see that poll. Listen. I didn't even see that question, bro. That's the maddest Listen. thing. This, whatever we ask, you always, you always ask, you always reply as ass or tees, bro. Like, what would you do? What would you do if the if the world ended? Is I'll either eat ass or tees. I hate that guy. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, but like literally every every question we asked. <laughs> what was the last time you cried at a movie? <laughs> oh, so, <did> you... <laughs> so you, uh, your sister said you both need girlfriends. <laughs> she ain't wrong though. I can't lie slightly. Ah <laughs> <clears throat> uh, man, let's see, let's see what else is there. When this is something we discussed last week. When the what would you do when the girl never pays? Um, if you like, if you're really feeling her, then that's not really an issue. But if you're dating yeah. her, bro, that's like if you're dating her to figure out like if you want to take it like long term, then that's a bit shaky. You know what I'm saying? But if you're feeling the girl, yeah, it's, it's calm and it is what it is. It's just money, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're serious about something, I think you should be prepared to sacrifice, like, yeah. make little sacrifices. Do you know what I mean? But if you're date, if you're just dating, but you, you, like you're just dating for the sake of it and you want to see where it goes, uh, if you're continuously playing. Bro, I'm sorry, man. You're just, yeah, you're you're just a punk, fam. You know what I'm saying? But if you're you mean like man, you mean like paying for meals and stuff, not paying for like shopping, right? Like you're not meals, going meals. buying her bags. If, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, like activities, activities and shit, you know. Yeah, that's calm. Yeah. Like, but I feel like that's only if you're in a serious relationship, bro. Yeah, that's calm. Yeah, I agree. But what if? Would you not feel not? Would you not see it as a weird sign that like you're doing all this effort and stuff, yeah? But not like let's say you date for a year, yeah, and that ho- every, like you go on a date. I don't know. I don't know what the going rate is for a date because it's so expensive, you know. <laughs> no, but like let's say you go like twice a month, maybe. Yeah, so that's twenty four times a year, yeah. Yeah. And out of twenty four times, you've been the one to organize it. You've been the one to. Oh like, no 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 no! But you said just stuff. paying. We weren't talking about organizing. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm. That's what I'm saying. Isn't it? Like, it, you've been the ones to organize it. You've been the ones to pay for it, and all that stuff. Yeah, because the way I see it is like whoever organizes it and asks should pay. Do you know what I mean like if somebody asks me, do you want to come out? Then like, there there might be an expectation. Do you know what I, mean? I probably would end up paying. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Would you not find it weird that like out of twenty four dates, not once she has she said, "Let's go here," and I'll do, I'll I'll treat you out. She could be broke, man. No, but that obviously you would know that. Do you know what I mean? I'm talking about like she's okay. No, how would you know that? You've been you've been there for a year. You don't know like her situation. You no, know, what if she's know, working? I... What if she's working? But like most of the piece have to go to her family or something. Like, you never know, innit? But that's but then again, that's something you would look to yourself and think like, why can't she communicate that to me? Bro, it's bro, a oh, year, bro. yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You yeah. don't you don't know, bro. And let me tell you something, yeah. You don't know a person to you've that you've dated for them for all, over a year, bro. That really knows someone. You might know, oh yeah, their favorite color and that, but when you really know someone, is after you've been like at least two kid for a year. Trust me. I disagree. Trust me, bro. What you, you think you can know someone uh, under a year? Fully know yeah. someone under a year? Nah, bro. Trust you, me. I I don't think you know my 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 power. You know, no joking. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking up. <laughs> guys are not. <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is that good? What? <laughs> no, I've been like escalated quickly. Yeah, I've been like I mean people open up emotionally, you know. Yeah. I mean? Now I was gonna say like in relation to the question, I feel like my view is that the guy is a provider in it, so you shouldn't be surprised if you're expected to pay. Like I said, you gotta make sacrifices in it. And if you think about it, that's it's only twenty four times. That's like that's <clears> it's, not, it's not that bad, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not if saying, you, if you, I'm not saying if you can't, it's, it's if you can't afford you a relationship, you shouldn't be. No, nah, if you can't afford a relationship, you shouldn't be one. Facts. No, but the, what I'm saying is, those 24 times you still pay either way in it. But like, there could be it could be 27 days if she if she took you out on free. Do you know what I mean? 
What in the beat? Less. I get, oh, okay. Oh, I yeah, do no, get no, what you're saying. You. No, no, sorry, but, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think meant 24. Like less, you have to pay less than 24. She took you out somewhere. No, some of the times you, 24. You, you still do the 24, but then there's free extra because she's taking you out on some as well. Then she wouldn't be paying if you like. Then they'll be meeting more regularly. Then. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. But it's I don't know, man. It's I don't know. It's it's a. It's a weird but, one, man. By the way, for any 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 beautiful ladies listening, yeah, I'm just I'm playing devil's advocate here. I don't really care about this shit. No, no, this guy's a scumbag. <laughs> bro, try, bro, trust me. He was just money long, you know. Trust me, man. That's not the only thing. That... I'm joking. I'm joking. Un- unlike his wood. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can't reverse Uno card my joke, fam. <laughs> well, that's unlike his wood. <laughs> No, no. When, when I'm editing, I'm just gonna keep the unlike my. Uh, that's yeah. not the only thing, and I'm gonna cut out as a joke. I'm joking. They both can stay. In. <laughs> You're staying individuals, though. I'm, I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm joking. But yeah, I feel like obviously, I'm answering in terms of for me and I don't think there can be a blanket like, oh yeah, both mm-hmm. people should pay. One person should pay. It's it's, yeah. it's 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 the relationship you have with that person that you can gauge that by yourself. Yeah. With that being said, I feel like at least like asking, requesting to pay is the bare minimum. If you can't pay, that's great. That's cool, isn't it? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Man will have that. But at least ask, like, yo, man, like, yeah, let me get this one. Like, just for the sake, like, you know what I'm saying? Just for my own, like, my own sanity, fam. <laughs> so I know I'm just paying for this, this guy's meal, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this guy. What did I freeze? <laughs> no, no, no. Why did everyone stop talking? Oh, for you, said guy's, <laughs> you said this guy's meal. No, I said this guy. Dudes, man. You said this nah, guy. No, 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 no. I said nah, this nah. guy. Listen, it's, it's yeah, okay. It's 2021, guy. man. I, I've been on dates with guys. I've, I've taken out carriage yeah, plenty of times. That's cool. <sighs> I told you, bro, I'm a simp. <laughs> no, but what is it to simp? She's giving you nothing, <laughs> bro. There's breadcrumbs. No, I'm joking. I'm There's joking, nothing there. I'm just trying to widen this market, bro. Trust me, I'm trying to make myself look good. You know what I'm saying? What, I've seen this. Okay, okay, seen this okay you simp over if there's nothing there, fam. Do you know what I mean? Then like, I'm, play, I'm, 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 I'm all for, I'm all for simping for the right person, yeah. But if there's nothing there, you're simping over breadcrumbs. Literally like Hansel and Gretel, fam. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm talking about serious relationships, bro. I'm not just, I'm, I'm not just like getting into a relationship with some chump. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Unlike A B, do you know? What I mean? <laughs> 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 no, but I've been I've been treated I've been treated bad times, man. I I got a sip. Oh, I can't even hold up the gifts, but I've got I got. <laughs> Trust me. I think girls are shit at giving gifts. No, no, no. I say majority you are, but yeah, but the my last gift giver. Was... <laughs> How many nicknames are we gonna go through today? <laughs> um, I'm joking. My my last my last girl was 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 good still. Mm. I will say, yeah, like obviously I'd appreciate the girl doing stuff for me and paying, but I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Next would you question. consider you guys? Would you would you consider yourself to be good gift givers? Amazing. Um, yeah. So you've given a so. gift before. And... That wasn't the question. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you now. <laughs> um, have I? Come on, this, this is an honest conversation. Are we all free adults? I don't. I don't think I have. Honestly, I don't think I have. I'm gonna get you. To, I'm gonna get you to crack brother, <laughs> before the end of the episode. You know, I'm gonna catch you. Brother. Really, I don't think I have. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even lying. Really. So all the girls that you did, you've never given them a gift. That's what I'm saying. I've never <laughs> been. I've never been in a serious relationship, bro. It doesn't. It doesn't need to be a relationship, man. You can. So, you, can, or, you, can or, you can seriously date someone. You know. Get to know. Th- I've never done seri- that. I've never done that. So you have no what? XP. What is the difference no between XP, what you said bro. and what he said, bro? Huh? My, my, he said he said serious relationship, and you said seriously date. That's bro. That's synonym. It's the same thing. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> nah, no, it's not. Yeah, what do you mean? So dating a relationship is the same thing. Is what you're telling me? No, but serious and serious, both of them is the same thing. Nah, serious. You can seriously date. You can you can seriously date someone with the intention of getting into a relationship, a serious relationship. I think if you're seriously dating someone, you're in a relationship, bro. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I don't think so. I disagree, man. I mean, so, I expect that from you. 
<laughs> yeah, that's obviously, how serious this. There, there must be a day for that, and a fee appreciation day. Nah. Listen, AB, you're you're standing on some moral high. I know you're thinking of them creep, creeps that ask for feet pictures. Yeah, I'm not that. That's weird to me. Yeah, but I know AB's out here sucking toes. Yeah, so relax. Well, are you never? Okay. Well, you never, you never do it. I would never do it, and I never have. Really? No, I said really. I, I say this <laughs> is a, like it's a weird thing. I was, I was just curious. Re- really, as in he's never done it, or really, as in he would never do it. Both. Oh, would you do it? So would you stuck feet? Yeah, man. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird. Who asked that question? Yeah, that person's a weirdo, fam. No, no, so They've so got so a foot fetish, man. <laughs> do relationships come before the age of eighteen? No, no. I think depending on how serious they are. No, I don't care how serious it was. No. Although some people were in relationships before they were eighteen, and they're still in a relationship. Yeah, do you know what I mean, no, but then no, but the, the relationship lasted past eighteen, didn't it? So. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean if it finished before 18, it don't count. Even if, if it finished at 18, yeah, I, I, like it's around or when it like, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. I do hear that though. You know when you said like when they when they start talking to people saying I used to chat to that person, yeah. Man them do it too, but if yeah. it's gonna sound racist, yeah. Like, you know what fuck I'm gonna say it. Pakistani girls, yeah. You lot need to learn how to keep your mouth shut. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, that was a joke, that was a joke. But I think people yeah. who like are inexperienced in life, yeah, you can say hi to them and they'll tell everyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's annoying. Mm-hmm. Someone said, "Baby, no, no, for real, what do you guys actually look for in a in a in a girl?" Funny. Um, I'd be lying if I didn't say looks, personality as well. Like, I feel like some girls have personality of like a flipping cardboard. Mm. Most. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't really, I don't really have a, like when people say, oh, what's your type? I don't really have a type. Like if I see someone and I like them, that's, that's what I like in it. I don't think they fit as, like a mold or anything. So would you say you, like, there's more nuance? Oh, there's nuance. Yeah. <laughs> Just shut up, man. <laughs> um, yeah, Kirja, what's your um, traits that you look for and no goes? Traits that I look for? I think if someone's funny, I'm not going to lie, then I turn into a simp. Do you know what I mean? That's that's like it. That's you got me. So after I laugh. Anyway. But what was what was he looking for? <clears throat> I don't know. It's just more like good conversation. Obviously, good looking in it, but I can't describe what good looking is to me because it's just too yeah. much nuance. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. So. What about you? What would you say? What do you look for? Obviously, obviously, that like, someone is not fucking influenced by like Twitter, like you know what I'm saying. Even someone who like likes to post shit on like on Snap like all the time, like like say like we're out, like bro, I don't even take pictures of myself on my own Snap or my own Insta. Like, like, like I think there's only like two pictures. It might might it might even be one picture where you can see my face fully on my Insta, innit? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't like I don't like being on other people's socials like that. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So. You all over my Instagram. No, but that's calm. Like, well, am I de- am I seeing you, fam? Yeah, <laughs> see me right now. I'm, I'm talking about see those see those girls, yeah. That you know, it's a difference between like posting, like like making a post, and someone who's doing everything just for gram. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I'm here. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never had that personally, but like I see that in it. That's bare cringy to man. You know, there's some people that like take pictures with their like male cousins but in a way that like is suggesting that they it might be a, a guy do you know what I mean <sighs> that's Taps, weird Taps that's baby, very man. weird Taps. that's very weird for brown sure? girls it's not that weird though <laughs> probably end up marrying their cousin <laughs> moving on <laughs> um... yeah so what would you say what do you look for yeah, uh, just someone like who you can hold a conversation. Someone, oh, bro, one of my fucking biggest pet peeves, yeah, is when they try to speak like me, fam. Oh my god, but you don't like that. 
I hate that, bro. Take like you could take obviously you could take bits of my lingo and that, yeah. But like, like I've like not like people that I'm talking to seriously because I haven't in like God knows how long, yeah. But see, like when I meet someone like new for the first time, like it could be this goes for men and women, by the way, yeah. Say like some, see someone if anyone like I meet at college or uni, mm. and then like they'll talk like how they talk. Then obviously I talk the way I talk everywhere in it. Like do you know what I'm saying, and then. Then they try to speak like me, like you know what I'm saying, like talk, like have like like trying to copy my mannerisms and that. Yeah, I think I hate that at work. Bro, that like, you fucking nerd, man. Don't talk like me. Man. Like, <laughs> why the fuck are you talking like me for? But I hate that shit, bro. With a burning passion, bro. Um, one second. I I hate you know you know what you're saying like when people copy your lingo or like try and speak like you to like I don't know why they do it, but like, I hate that. At work, you know, when like an older manager or something, yeah, they clearly don't talk the way that you talk, yeah. but they'll mm. like put it on to like, uh, like I don't know, we're in a professional situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need to act like me for me yeah, to yeah. get along with the program, fam. Just like yeah. talk to me normally, bro. Bro, you know what? The worst, the worst thing I hate is when they say, you know what I'm saying, bro. Blood, that oh, bro, I'm fuming right now, you know. Just I'm <laughs> thinking of the times where people have done it. It's like, oh, you know what I'm saying, bro. Fuck off, man. <laughs> Fucking jarring, bro. Sorry, man. So much swearing, fam. But I'm fucking pissed. I think people yeah, are listening to this point, like, why are they so angry about these things? You know? Sorry? I don't think I can have a girl who speaks like a roadman. Yeah, man. Got, I, I feel like I would need a girly girl, do you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, I hear that shit enough already. Like, I don't, I don't want yeah. you to talk like that as well, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so I hate, far, I hate, I hate when, the girls say, when girls say the word G, fam. Oh. Like, were you saying G? Yeah. Like, fam, got... fam is okay. Fam and bruv is okay, yeah. But when you when you call a man like G and bro... it depends how you're saying it. If you're saying it in like an ironic way, then yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, unironically, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, like, imagine, so, so... imagine you get roses, yeah, and then she's like, "Yes, G, yeah, <laughs> oh, I love yeah. that." So I'm trying to be like you, G. <laughs> <laughs> I see you shining. Now she's like... to be honest, that's fine, isn't it? But like. Uh, so far, I've only said pet peeves, fam. Fucking hell. Yeah, I was. I kept asking, like, what do you look for in, yeah, in what, someone? What do I look for? What do I look for? What do I look for, bro? There's going to be a, a bunch of girls right now taking notes. They just got they got a pen and paper ready. What does AB look for? <laughs> what doesn't he like? <laughs> um, he doesn't like laughing. Okay, I'm never going to laugh again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I just like. I like. I don't know. Man. I just like a, like a nice homely girl. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, like. Yeah. Not like nice, nice little quiet girl. Like you know what I'm saying. Someone. Nice someone teeth. Can't understand jokes. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you can't take me too seriously or not. Do you know what I'm saying. But obviously, I'll be serious. Like when it needs to be serious. But you know what I'm saying. Um, someone. Oh yeah, this is a big thing. This is number one for me. Yeah. Or well, number two. Uh, like. So if I can't, if I if I don't see myself being able to build something with you, whether it could be like, um, like family or uh, like financial wise, I am not chatting to you. Fam. I thought you meant like a table or like a cupboard or something. Do you know what I mean, like no, fuck, I, don't need, I don't need help with that. Shit. I don't need help with that shit. <laughs> That's what, when you said I don't. If I can't see myself building, I was just imagining you like in the sitting room, like with a cupboard from IKEA. Like, bitch, build this right now. Although I'm leaving you. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> He's looking for a business partner, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I can't just date like a bum, like or like a sloth, like. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Someone who, well, someone that don't know like what they want or what they want in life, and if you're not working towards something, leave it out, man. It's because of my age, isn't it? Like, maybe if I was younger, I'll have different things. But what if her goal is to be a housewife? Like, she knows she wants to be a housewife. You cool with that? If she wants to be a housewife. Yeah. That, that's calm. Like, you know okay. I mean? as long, but again, if you're a housewife, you need to at least be good with kids. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't, if you don't know how to cook, that's cool. Like, that, that's things you can learn, isn't it? Do you know what I'm saying? But if you want to be a housewife, at least be good with kids, bro. Like, mm. wouldn't you say, though, like, if, like, say if she wanted to be a housewife, yeah, then, yeah, that's cool. But then, what if she's a housewife that, like, expects, like, Gucci bags every week, all that stuff? If she wants, if she expects Gucci bags, I'll give her Gucci bags, but not every week, bro. Like, I'm not no, running, like, not running uh, up the bag. 
I'm I'm thinking like if if you want to be housewife, yeah, then like you have to settle for some sort of like well like a Nike you... side like a Nike side pouch or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean like that, but like surely if 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 you want to be a housewife, some of your expectations have to go away. Like they wouldn't line up with that lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? In a I, in, I a, do, I do, in, in a single income household in, in this day and age. I hear that. Yeah. But if if you, if one of you is gonna be a housewife or house husband, you've got to be financially set up for that anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? So Yeah. If you can yeah. afford it, then why not? If if your wife was like a millionaire, yeah. Or like a doc, let's say a doctor son, yeah. Mm. Would you be okay with being a house husband? I, yeah, I was gonna ask you exactly the same question. I would. Um, if she's I a wouldn't. doctor, if she's a doctor, nah, cause I'd like, still have to work, even if yeah. I'm earning less. I feel like yeah. I still have to work. What if, what if it's like really co- like comfortable? Like there's literally no reason for you to be working. Like she's a millionaire. I, st- so. I would. I, I hate, think I'd still work. Yeah. I hate not having things to do. Like not having things yeah. to work towards. I hate that. Shit. I, I, f- I think I would. I would do stuff like like podcasting or like do more things that are like it's freelance, isn't it? Like you're not working for actually anyone, and you can work mm. from home or like go to a studio and do your own thing. I mean, yeah, like, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I wouldn't be a bum way. Like just you sit at home and do nothing. But like, <laughs> and then but she comes through the to door. The Imagine she just she just comes through the door like, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, have clean the house. She smashes a glass bottle of your head. But like, <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know why I went there. <laughs> but yeah, I think I would. Uh, that would be sick. You get to spend time with kids. But I think though, you know, when I'm like thinking of approaching a girl, yeah. I'm one of those people that <clears throat> if I like a girl, yeah, and I've never ever thought to myself, what if she doesn't like me? I don't I don't know what it is. Like I just assume that she's gonna like me. I can't lie. I, I don't know what, what kind of confidence is, what kind of like security have you? Yeah? I just assume that she, like when she gets to know me, she'll like me and it's calm. Yeah, that's but wavy. If there's if there's a girl who's like starting to be like a, a doctor or like when we were at uni when starting to be a doctor or like something mad, like a neurosurgeon or I don't know, something mad in it with like mm-hmm. a lot of money and she's got high aspirations yeah i think to myself like with the job that i'm gonna do i feel like she deserves better than me to be honest not gonna lie like not in not in a way that yeah. i'm costing myself yeah i see where you're coming from i see where you're coming but like from. financially she's obviously worked hard for something so surely she yeah. should expect someone or want someone who's wor- also worked hard for a similar level do you know what i mean? hear that yeah I, hear that. I, I, I see that in myself with hijabis as well like someone's on dean yeah I don't ever want to disturb them. Do you know what I mean? Because they've yeah, worked yeah. to a certain level where they want to be at. Who am I to disturb their peace or like get in the way of that? Do you know what I mean? Because I don't see myself at that high level. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's what yeah, I'm saying, bro. If, if it happened next... naturally, it's calm, but I wouldn't I wouldn't move to them. Well, that's about my next relationship, bro. I'm getting married, fam. That's what I'm saying, bro. My next one, fam. I'm done, bro. It's... He'd been Not saying worth that it. For, <laughs> for a decade. Not bro. worth it any other way, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, but for real, if if I don't get married by like or at least working towards getting married by the age of twenty nine, I'm quitting the game. But I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm adopting a child. I'm adopting a child. I'm calling it quits, fam. What if your next partner yeah, is perfect in every way, like beautiful personality, ten ten, everything? Yeah, you're not married yet. You're, you're like in a relationship, yeah, and it comes up in conversations that she doesn't want kids. But as in that biological kids? Yeah. I'm leaving her. Bro, someone's got to carry, someone needs to carry my, my, my genes full with her. I, I, I can't have, I can't have my fucking gene pool deaded off with me, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, f- I, feel, I feel like a conversation would need to be had. Like, so I'd say, I'd lay out that obviously I want kids. So what do you want me to do? Do you know what I mean? Like we're at a, uh, we're at a point where where someone needs to sacrifice something. That's a big thing as well, you know. Yeah, I feel like you could like being in the like being married could change opinions. Like, growing older, growing a bit more older together could change opinions as well. So I don't think it's a lost cause at that point. I disagree with that personally. Really? Because I feel like if if you go into the mindset like, oh, she might change her mind afterwards, yeah, it's kind of unfair on her, isn't it? Because she obviously yeah. knows that like, she doesn't want kids, and like for you to expect her, oh, she might she, she might change. Like when you deeply want, well, I'm assuming you deeply want kids in it. Yeah. Me? Who me? Uh, just like in general in it, like the person, other person in the relationship obviously wants kids. I'll tell, bro, I'll tell her I'm getting a second wife. Huh? I'll tell her I'm getting a second wife. 
<laughs> bro, it made it worse of me if I would be wavy, bro. Yeah, trust I, me. I, I can't imagine life without kids, man. Honestly. Yeah, same. Bro, like, bro, I said in another pod, fam, if I'm if I'm if I don't have a youth by 29 or 30, G, I've done something terribly wrong, fam. Mm. Whether it's biological or adopted, fam. And obviously, God willing, I'm financially stable. Inshallah, yeah. 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 That's that's obviously that's 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 priority. And also God willing that you can have kids as well, because obviously you have yeah, no God willing, sometimes. man. God willing. I'm figuring out a way, bro. I'm doing a madness. I'm I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I hope you like, like, obviously, even if I can't, bro, I'm adoption, isn't it? Yeah. You that's you still you still you still haven't said what you look for. I have, I told you. Like um big back. <laughs> I like uh, obviously modest uh, modesty right someone who can who like I can clown around with in it like and mm-hmm. who feels comfortable like clowning around with me like do you know what I'm saying not someone who's too serious like about themselves you get me yeah um, how about this yeah mm, go on any so we, we kind of covered this already but we got some sent in from the from the people at home as well like deal breakers x turns off all that stuff turn off smoking all that stuff. smoking that yes yes yeah, smoking definitely smoking um if you're bitching about your friends all the time to me like obviously you can bitch about your friends a little bit but not all the time bro like well yeah you can't you can't get along with any of your friends fam yeah, bro. I I not gonna lie, I zoned out for a second, so I didn't really hear what you're saying. But yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Someone, hey, you know, oh, smoking. Yeah. That includes shisha as well. Still, I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I the, the I thing is that that's to... that's fair for you though, because you don't. Yeah, I don't. Because you know yeah. if if someone gets offended at that, like you just be like, I don't. So yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what else? But yeah, you know what you said, AB, yeah? About if if a girl keeps telling me that, like, she can't keep friends, oh, the red flag. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is, this, is, this is a flag for me as well, yeah? Yeah. Can, <clears throat> can your, oh, yeah, we spoke about this already. Can your friend, your wife, have a, a male best friend? Nope. That was one of the questions. Um, mm. What did you say? Can your, can your partner have a male best friend? What do you say, Ads? No. I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't think so either. And then if you any girl... You change your tune. No, but I, I, last, last, the last time the argument was friends, male friends. That, that's calm. I don't mind. No. Best, best, best friend, friend is a bit much. No, no, no. 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 Okay, cool. Friends or best friends? Friends is calm. Uh, for me, it would depend what level. Like, how, how close they are as yeah. friends. Because like, what, what, once, friend, once I'm in yeah, the picture... Cool. Once I'm in the picture, I'm the best friend anyway. Like he's getting demoted anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, like I say, it, it depends on on what level their friendship is at. Because mm. well, imagine you two have relationship, uh, like problems in the relationship, and she goes telling this bridge yeah. like, yeah, oh yeah, he's having a good, and then he's just thinking, yes. No, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's an issue with like even if she didn't have a like a a guy best friend yet, that's an issue with her. Why is she going and like, you know? Telling everyone your business and stuff like that. Yeah, that's so, true. I mean, why, why, why not come to you and say, oh, I don't know how you dealt with this? Or like, there's, there's clearly unhealthiness there already, regardless of whether the, the person she's talking to is a guy or a girl. Facts. Yeah, and if any girl wants to be, oh yeah, he's, he's insecure, he's insecure. Ask your dad if your dad's got any female any female friends. And then come <laughs> chat to her. And ask your Marge as well. And if you don't, tell her to shout me. That's fact. That's fact. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like that's a no go. Like, what the hell? Blood. If a female or a guy uh, have a best friend from the opposite gender, G, one of them has caught feelings for them at one point in their relationship, bro. And that's facts. If anyone says, if anyone disagrees, please DM me on Titan. Don't DM me privately. I'll DM you right now. Huh? I'll DM right now. Who's your, okay, who, who's your friend that you didn't have feelings for? I have loads of friends that girls I don't have feeling for. Lies. No, what do you mean? And then, 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 no. Nah, like, do you stay in contact with those people after you're married? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like no, regular. No, no, contact, I'm not, no sorry, sorry. I'm not saying by. friends. I mean best friends. Sorry, best friends. Not best friends. friends. Best friends is a bit different, but not because I'm scared that like she's gonna pipe my girl. Do you know what I mean? 
No, I'm. I, I just don't want another man having feelings for my for my girl. Why? What, bro? Why is it's not? I'm scared of competition because you know what I'm saying it's it's A B over here. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't. I don't want that one. It's like is that? Would you allow your? Is, would you allow your wife to like wear a bikini in the beach? Would you? Is it, is it our private beach? Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. Private beach is a comfortable, but public beach, bro. Yeah. But nah, I wouldn't. I don't know. It's, bro, it's, she's wearing a niqab on the beach, bro. I don't care. It's, it's, it's something you have to, like, discuss with your wife in advance. So, like, before you, that's why you need to get to know people. Because, like, for example, let's say, for example, you, you don't want your wife to wear, like, a bikini at the beach, yeah? And she does, then you should just know that you're not right for each other, innit? Like, it yeah, shouldn't be enough. Yeah. I feel like, like that's what a lot of these questions boil down to. Yeah. It's knowing yeah, knowing like, the person, innit? But would but you then, be like, for example, that, like for example, if you don't, say like no, 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 don't you, the you, say, you, you say would I would I allow her? What a brother? Am I am I am I a no, slave? I'm not. Would you be happy with that? Like, oh, come on, man. You know what I mean, man. You, would you be happy with that? What What am I wearing in this situation? Shorts. Oh, this guy, man. Would you be happy with your with your girl wearing a bikini in the beach? Listen, at the end of the day, yeah. Let's I don't say, care about what you're wearing. I don't care. If would if, you be happy if, with if, your girl? If if you're if you're there topless, yeah, wearing beach shorts, yeah. What can you say? This guy, this guy does my nothing. It doesn't what can matter. You, what, can, what can you say in that situation? Would you listen? The question is: Would you be happy with your girl wearing a bikini in the beach? That's and you're not on holiday with her. You're not on holiday with her. You're at home wanking and. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What the fuck? Sorry, sorry. I hold, I hold up the location. Man. I'm sorry, man. What the fuck is we doing? <laughs> sorry. Oh yeah. Sorry, I got carried away. That's gonna be would one you, of the. That's gonna be one of the clips, fam. Would you be happy with that? What was the question? She's on holiday. Would you? Would you? Would you be alright with your uh, girl wearing um thing, a bikini on the beach? I don't know, man. Honestly, like, it's a simple it's, yes or no, situ- bro. No, but I don't know though. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not something I think about too deeply. Okay, so the girl that you're feeling right now, yeah, or girls that you're feeling right now, there is, there is, there is none. Okay, whatever. That's a lie. If they went, <laughs> if, if it got serious and if they, and they went on holiday uh, wearing a bikini, would you would you feel away about it? No. And, and I'm assuming they're Muslim as well. No. They're not Muslim. Uh, no, no, not not no, isn't they're not. No, there's no one there. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly got him. <laughs> uh, no, I did, I did. He's, he's, there's he, no one there. No, no, there's no, no one he, there. He said, he just said that they're not Muslim, so they are no, Muslim. No, 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 no. There's there's no one there. Yeah, but even so even if they, even if they were Muslim, yeah. Even if this girl existed, yeah, and they're a Muslim girl and they're gone to holiday, yeah, and we're just get, I'm just getting to know her. Like, honestly, what, like, why am I going to sit there saying, like, oh, you can't do this, you can do this? No, blood. I just said, if it gets more serious. Yeah, again, like, what can I say to them? It's not like, it's their own decision. They make their own decision. No, it's not about you allowing it. It's would you be happy with it? Would you continue a relationship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Because this guy wears bikinis himself. Yeah, <laughs> I wear a burkini. I wouldn't be happy with that shit, man. I'll be honest. Yeah, because it's it's like the fact that she's wearing a bikini is the fact that, like, I don't like the idea of someone like say she's wearing a bikini. Yeah, I don't like the idea of another man thinking, "Oh yes, like, what?" Yeah, like, I wonder. How, I wonder how it would feel to sleep with this woman. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but are they though? In the at the end of the day. Come on, man! It's a guy. Come on, man! man. Come on, man. No, no, Come no! On, not as in are they, are they thinking it, but are they doing it? At the no, end but of the day? why? No, but I don't like that thought. That 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 provoking thought. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if she, oh, and if I'm she, jealous, bro. I'm and jealous. if she don't want me to like to wear to be topless in the beach, yeah, like, come, like I I, I want to do it. I wear like yeah. I don't know. I wear like a vest or something. You know what I'm saying? I'll be happy with it because I I I won't be happy with. She can wear a vest as well if she wants. You know what I'm saying, but dad is like, what? No, we didn't agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> a vest. <laughs> you mean she's not wearing a fleece at the beach? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 night tech. <laughs> well, that's a night tech. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wouldn't be happy. That's mm. what I'm saying. That's that's you know what we're talking about, like X year. I don't like when a girl is too boy crazy. Like they all they do is talk about image. And guys, oh, it pisses me off. Yes, that's another thing. I hate when girls talk about guys all the time. Even if it's personally, yeah, this is going to sound mad insecure, is insecure yeah. Insecure. <laughs> yeah, my brother. So, so I'm like insecure. That's, that's the bougie version of it. Insecure. <laughs> I'm like insecure, um, you know. 
This is gonna sound mad insecure, yeah, but I, 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 I feel a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> you said it again. <laughs> did, I, did I say it again? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? I said insecure. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you said mad insecure. <laughs> Don't lie. You said insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? Well, <laughs> did I actually? Yeah. yeah, I thought I was the only one that clocked. <laughs> <laughs> but so I just started laughing. Like. I was thinking, why are these men laughing? Like, can I say the word uncomfortable, insecure? Like, what the hell's going? On? Are they gaslighting me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to think about what I said. It might sound mad, insecure here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I find it uncomfortable when a girl is talking about like all these celebrities that she finds attractive, like over, like OTT. Do you know what I mean? Like talking about people's looks over the top. It's mad uncomfortable. I can't lie. I do. I, I think with celebrities is different, isn't it? Yeah, that's so not. I don't, yeah, that's the not likelihood that they they would ever do a thing with a celebrity is very low. Do you know what I mean? So, but don't you find yeah. it they, like they should know that it's it's an uncomfortable thing to have to keep hearing your partner talk about in a certain way about. How do you even respond to that? Like as a guy, like I, don't, I to this day I still don't even know. What do you mean to say? Yeah, he's a good looking. I I would say yeah, he's a, like he's like I don't know Chris Evans or something. But like, yeah, he's a good looking brother. Isn't it? But if it's over the top, like every day, like oh my god, I love this guy. I love like okay, I yeah, know, no, yeah, Jamie. yeah. I, I, I can understand that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like you know, back in high school when people would like be in love with Justin Bieber type levels. As a grown woman, you shouldn't be talking like that mm. about a celebrity. It's just yeah. girls, it's just girls who don't get enough attention from the guy that they're talking to or whatever, man. And I think with that as well, yeah, if if your girl's talking about other guys a lot, yeah, if God forbid you break up or like something happens, yeah, that that guy's. Like um, self confidence is going to be shattered because all they're going to do is like compare themselves to all those people that she talked about and think like, what do they have that I don't? That ended. Do you know what I mean? That's why I think it's mad uncomfortable. I can't lie. Yeah. You know what? You know what? I clutch here. Yeah? I I feel like a lot of people are just not ready for relationships, man. Mm. Yeah. And this goes for people who are in relationships right now, fam. I mean, people are in relationships for the sake of being in a relationship. Yeah. Uh, so we had the the X or turn off ones. We, had, well, we didn't really finish that question. The X in terms of like deal breakers for you guys. I think we have. For you guys, yeah, it was modesty did. in it. I mean, smoking, modesty. Um, Just talking about boys. Chew, chewing loud. <laughs> not ha- not having friends is one for me as well. Yeah. Like if you can't keep friends, yeah, don't brag about that shit to me. I ha- oh, I hate that. Bro, thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you said that, you know, because it just reminded me, bro. Thank you. I'll let you land. No, that, that was it, bro. You carry on. Bro, I'll, I'll log it up to you, fam. Man. When did it become cool to not have friends, fam? Mm. You know, what I'm you, saying? know you know, if a girl says to me, like, oh, you know, other girls just don't like me. Yeah. I'm not thinking, yeah, you're sick. You're one of the man. I'm thinking, why? What's wrong with you? I think there's a problem with you. <laughs> yeah. What, what is so bad about you that people don't like you? What the hell? Hello? Is it something that I won't like you for? Because I'm I'm like everyone else. I'm not one of like the bottle. Do you know what I mean? I'm with the crowd. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I go with popular demand. If people don't like you, I don't like you. <laughs> there must be a reason. No, I'm joking. Obviously, obviously, if it's if like, like if it's if it's something I can understand, then that's calm. But if it's just like, oh yeah, I just you know, I just don't can't like keep friends with people. People don't like me. I'm like, why? Yeah. And why are you bragging about that shit? Bro, I don't even ask why, bro. It's a straight exit, if I'm, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not no one's therapist. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're my girl, like, you know, what I'm getting, you get me. Mm. I'm not being everyone's Jeremy Calfer. I don't got paid for this shit. Uh, should we see what what people said for their their turn off? Yeah. Okay, let's see what they said. Yeah. Someone's a hot breath. Facts. That can be fixed though. No, 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 no. For some girl out there, bro, it can't be fixed. I, I think bad teeth is one for me. No, that can be fixed. Yeah. No, but why is it broken? Okay, uh, uh, hot breath can hot breath can be fixed easier than bad teeth. Nah, bro, uh, bro, slapping some braces. You get me? You have to ride it out for a couple, like what a year, a couple years, bro. But see the you, hot ima- imagine, teeth. imagine you're 29, your your things like what 27, yeah, and she's 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 this with adult braces, fam. No, Mufti no. Mink's got brilliant braces. Am I trying to lips Mufti Mink? <laughs> I'm just saying that's okay to have braces when you're adult, man. 
Yeah, but that, that's that's similar. That's Mufti Meg. To be you honest, I hate, I hate if, you. If, if, if 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 my if my girl was as wise and as funny as Mufti Meg is calm, she can wear braces all her life. Have you uh, listen? Have you have you seen them girls yeah? With see see the adult girls yeah that have braces and they try to laugh but they laugh like this. <laughs> they try to hide it like, oh bro, that is so funny, bro. Um, so childish. Emmett said if she listens to the weekend, what a loser, fam. Get out of here, mate. <laughs> he's just trying to cuss us. Um, I, u- I usually agree with MH, but he's had a, he's had a stinker this, this one. Someone said, bad attitude, horrible to other people. I agree. Yeah. 100%. This one killed me. This one's a funny one, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so weird, yeah. It's one of them ones where it's like, if you, if I saw him running for the bus, then I would I would lose feelings for him. <laughs> but to be honest, I get that, though. All right, you dating people that take the bus. So this, saying, what? This, this so some people say like if if she, if she sees no I think a guy said if I see a girl running for the bus it's it's just so <laughs> does that person drive though no no that's yeah, the, I got I got that from Twitter in it like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but this this one this one says um when their sock is slipping off and you can see their heel like big man pull up your socks what? Oh, that's never happened to me. Well, it does weirdly. I'm specific. trying to think. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to figure out the yeah. logistics. <laughs> the, obviously, they must be in a situation where their shoes are off, right? If you can see their heel. Yeah, but whose whose socks slip down that much that you can see their heel? <laughs> I <lie. laughs> I don't get that. I get okay. that sometimes with ankle socks, though. Go on. But even then, why is that a problem? No, <laughs> it's no, just no, someone's sock slipped off. <laughs> People have their preferences. <laughs> I said, if she stays up till four a.m. every night, psycho alert, psycho alert. I don't know about psycho alert, but that's just a bad sleeping yeah. pattern. Yeah, I have that. I still sleep at four a.m. Yeah, you're a psycho real, man. What do you guys think? I think if it if it affects their their day to day life, then yeah, it's a problem. But if they can sleep at four a.m. and still function normally, then what's the problem? But even then, it's not like it, you, surely you just want to help them and be like, so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's not an issue, I don't think. Yeah, I, think I, 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 I think I would like an outspoken, outspoken go on it because I like to be quiet, so I wouldn't mind her talking a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> poor manners in general, I think that's a good one. I think people who are rude to people they're not attracted to, or like that uh, pisses me off a lot. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? oh. I think one deal breaker people who are rude to like um like service staff like people yeah. like retail workers cafe or restaurant workers um or rude to like people who are older than them I think yeah. that's that's a big turn off and you see people yeah who eat but they don't like they, they don't try to clean up what they like they just leave the mess and walk off bro yeah like, I hate that shit I said android phones <laughs> I can't lie. I can't lie. Oh, what? Is that is that a thing? No, I'm joking. No, it's, I think if, if that's a big issue care. for you, you're you're too lost in the source. Yeah, man. That you don't have. You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. trying to that's, that's a weird one to me. I can't lie. Um, talking too much about celebs or people with clout who DM'd her. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you guys? It's happened to me. No. I don't, I don't, I don't talk to girls. So, <laughs> what, what, what's funny? Um, next one says dirty toes. <laughs> what, what, what kind of caliber are these men like dealing with? Fam? <laughs> exactly. How, would, how, would, you, right how would you know though? Like, how would you know? Saying the first day, like, you're bridging back off your shoes right now. <laughs> uh, this one is a bit weird. But no cars. No car. Did it a girl on that, didn't it? Mm. And I guarantee you that girl doesn't have a license. So you know, you know how you said um, you guarantee that girl doesn't have a car. Yeah? What if she doesn't? Yeah. Would, would that she doesn't change? have a license? Yeah, what well, she doesn't have a license? Sorry. Yeah. Then, bro, both you and your man are boss wanking, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a license, <laughs> I'll be. This goes. But yeah, no, like, bro, if you ha- if you don't have a license, you have no like authority to ask for your, no, like, your man to have, have have a car. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't like, bro. You ain't done a license is the bare minimum, bro. You like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what like, for you? No, no, no. I'm saying like, like oh, having a license. Someone... 
yeah, like having a license, yeah, yeah. anyone can get anyone can get a license. Do you know what I'm saying? But not but not everyone can get a car. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. when he when he don't even have a license, but you're still expecting this from someone else, that is a big no no, fam. You need to check yeah. yourself, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Someone said, uh someone said AB said lying. I think that's yeah. I think lying about small things, especially, really, yeah. really pisses me off. Uh, bro, lying in general, bro, whether it's big, small. I hate that man. I hate that shit. Because I can see lying in a pinch in it. Like it's not an admirable trait, but I can see it. If you're lying about something small, it pisses because like, what else can you lie about? Mm. You know what I mean? Uh smoking came up again. That was all it, it for the X. There was a couple more. Um last two questions. <laughs> Steve said eye contact. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, who said that? <laughs> Deeps. <laughs> and I, I don't know if he means like a movie or like a girl is looking at me like, and he's like crying. I nah, never nah, heard nah. of a movie got eye contact though. I can't lie. <laughs> he, was, he was talking about Amy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's mad, you know, because Amy is so cross-eyed. Yeah, you could be in bed sleeping. You just know in the back of I'm your head. I'm not even cross-eyed. What? I'm not even cross-eyed. <laughs> It's just man, them, if you know, you know, like you can just be chilling at your home, yeah. Even if AB's not around, you just know he's got one eye on you wherever he is. Bro, this is such a stupid cuss, it's not even true, bro. It's so dumb. Uh, what else is that? Man said man said man them know it's true, you know. <laughs> Quick question: Do you ever think yeah people can end up on good terms? Yeah, what do you yeah, mean? I think so. Okay, Did, are you only saying that because you've never ended on good terms? I've, I don't have any exes, so I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how long we can we can dance this dance, but ads. I feel like me and me and AB, the audience are gonna be maybe you and the audience are thinking right now like, why do you Kyojin and AB have so much passionate hate for certain things? Whoa, 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 don't drag me down with you. You wanted as well as me. I don't know why. I just said things I don't like, man. I don't, I, there's, there's, bro, whatever, whatever floats your boat. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing in it. Just don't come around my wave. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. what, what was your main takeaway from this episode, Ads? Um, don't date AAB or Kyojin. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> my DMs are open. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, tell him. <laughs> No, they're they're not open. They're not. They're not the end. <laughs> um, I was gonna say. Um, I don't know. I, like, I think the main thing is, from me, like, people have preferences, obviously, but I feel like nowadays people jump into relationships without um, discussing certain shit first, and then they get upset or they get surprised when they find out stuff later on down the line. Like cockland. I think like you set yourself. <laughs> You set yourself up to fail, like, do you know what I mean, from the from the jump. So yeah. you shouldn't be upset. Like you did that to yourself. Do you know what I mean? And don't just date for the sake of dating, man. Like, let let something happen naturally. You don't you don't have to be in a relationship. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a personality trait. I personally think that you don't know someone to a year after talking to them. <clears throat> so. mm. I it's think it, sometimes it takes longer, man. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So I mean, it takes that. living with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. That's facts, though. I think sometimes it, it takes short if you're not only focusing on lotioning them at 3 a.m. all the time. <laughs> if, if Maybe if you talk to them once in a while, AB, you might take a little bit less time to actually know their so name. Wait, wait, hold on. Listen, yeah. let's, 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 let's cut the bullshit, yeah? Yeah. You really think you could really know someone within, like... Not really know, yeah, months. but you, you're, you're saying you, want, you don't know this person until, like, yeah, like a year after a year. I'm saying you don't really know someone to a, after a year, which is facts. You don't. So, let's say, talking stage, yeah, you, you'd go over a year. It's, it's talking stage and dating the same thing, like... No. So, talking is when you're just talking and not dating, not, not linking. Yeah. I don't I don't know how long a talking stage will be. And maybe till when both of them feel like So when 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 you when you say when you say yeah before you get into a relationship, yeah, what you, what, what happens what is happening during that yeah? So do you want do you want me to break it down? Do you want me to put down the, the timeline for you? Month by month, yeah, go on. Must say month by month, I ain't got that kind of time. 
So <laughs> I thought you were being sarcastic with the breaking down thing. I don't know. Actually, actually, you're gonna give me a timeline. So no, 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 I'm, no, no, no. So, uh, so your talking stage is how like to however long it is for both of you to feel comfortable to meet. You okay. meet, and a year after that, you guys like regularly meet up and talk more or whatever. Yeah. Then I feel like you would have a a, a better sense of if you want to get to relationship with this person or not. That's my professional opinion. I think if I'm regularly talking to someone and like meeting them, I'm in a relationship with them. So there's no in between. So you go for talking to relationship. Is that what you're telling me? No, you go on a couple of dates and then you go on like it can't be for, for a whole year from of date going dates. So like you have on trial basically a one year contract. That's what I'm saying. It's a it's a, it's a temporary contract. You know what I'm saying? If you put, if you pass probation. Then you get your full time contract. You get me. You know, probation is like what six months. Bro? Yeah, not me, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. that, bro. I just can't. I can't, bro. I just can't waste time, man. I, I'm. Right. Yeah, I feel like you're wasting time. Arrange, arrange time. marriage. Arrange marriage. See them the same day. Getting married to them. Nice and easy. Do you know what I mean? I know. Okay. I just want to like quick message to the girl who tried to snitch on me to my cousin. Fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is she, do you think she's listening to this? No, obviously not. I don't talk to her. I just had happy birthday one time, okay? Piss off, leave me alone. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't care about it. It's just, honestly, guys, when you hear this on the pod, yeah, I'm saying this for, for a comedic effect. I found it very funny that someone would say that to my cousin when I said happy birthday to them. And they said thank you. And then the conversation ended there. She was Asian, isn't it? Yeah, a bit yeah, creepy. Yeah, Pakistani. Um, but yeah, my final thoughts is... Um, I feel like a lot of people are, are dating people that they want to change. And I feel like you fucked up from there. Do you know what I mean? If you mm. if you get into a relationship with someone that has certain things that are deal breakers for you, but you go into it thinking, ah, oh, they can change. That's unfair on you and that's unfair on them. Like, they deserve it's someone been, who likes them for them. Been. Yeah. And final thoughts is, uh, if, you you're, if, you're, uh, if you're a person who can only talk about relationships, or can only talk about image, can only talk about like the opposite gender, and marriage and stuff like that learn some personality not from twitter learn it from somewhere else i don't know watch tv watch movies or something i don't know get some watch time we, and talk we spent two hours talking about relationships <laughs> no but i mean like when, when you're talking to, this is a special episode isn't it valentine's come on we're, we're giving out the knowledge for the people and we're trying to put you guys on i'm trying to help you out here ladies yeah no, i'm joking i'm joking there's pro- there probably are guys out there that like talking about relationships as well i don't know but it's it's not me, Amy. Um, but yeah, if you're just talking to me about like getting married and stuff, you're moving too fast. And don't ask me if I've eaten because I'm fat. Good chance I have eaten. Okay? <laughs> None of your damn business. Yeah. If you mess with me at one o'clock, I had a 1 a.m. dinner, second dinner. Yeah. So shut up. Don't ask me if I've eaten ever again in your life. Unless I love you. That's different. Is there anyone that you love right now? Your mama. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 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 you fucking prick! 